Hi, and welcome to Goosefire Designs. Today I will be showing the tutorial for the two color twisted German cast on. This is the cast on that I use in my catamount hat and mitten set. And it is an excellent cast on for one by one corrugated ribbon. It's also useful for brioche patterns or any other pattern where you begin with an alternating color sequence of knit 1A, knit 1B or knit 1A, purl 1B. Now we're going to start with our two colors and the pattern will usually say what color to start with. The first color you're going to cast on should go in the back and your other color comes in the front. We are going to tie a simple knot, knotting the two ends together. And now we're going to take our needle in our right hand and just hold the knot on top of the needle. We're going to hold our yarn now in the slingshot position. And this is the same for a single color twisted German cast on. And we're going to perform the exact same movement. So we're going to take our needle we're going to come around the yarn on our thumb through the loop and we're going to snag that yarn from the back. Now some people pull it directly through and off. I find it more comfortable to untwist off my thumb and take the yarn off that way. And now you're going to have some looseness here but you're going to take this off when we're done. So that's our first stitch cast on. Now we are going to change the order of the colors. We're going to take the back yarn, carry it over to the front. And now on our slingshot, the order of the yarns has changed. But we're going to do the exact same thing we did for the first stitch. We're going to take the needle under, around, through the loop and snag that yarn at the back. Take the loop off and there is our second stitch. And we're gonna switch colors again. Under, through, snag, and twist. Switch. Under, through, snag, twist, switch, under, through, snag, twist, and switch. One more time. Under, through, snag, twist, and switch. Now, if we look at our yarn on the needle, we can see here are our stitches, green, white, green, white, green, white. And now the loops below the stitches are white, green, white, green, white, green. And it's a nice little contrast. It still has the stretch of a twisted German cast on. And when you're ready to begin working your pattern, you work as normal. If it says join in the round, you join in the round. If it says, okay, now work your first row, you turn to work that first row. Um, with this particular cast on, the cast on has the appearance of a knit row. And when you turn to work it, you have the pearl bumps on the back. So if I'm using this cast on the two color twisted German or regular color twisted German, my next row is a purl row if I'm working in stockinette just to match the purl bumps on the back. And again, we have the colors in the loops are the opposite of the colors on the cast on. And this knot right here, when you're done working it, you just slide it right off. And there 
we have worked the last stitch on the first row and there's our knot and we're just going to drop it. And we are going to turn our work. And that is the cast on. There's our starting knot. When you're done, when you weave your end, you just take this knot out and weave it in normally. And one thing I forgot to mention earlier, you will have twisted yarn. Um, depending on how many stitches you have to cast on, you may want to untwist uh, after every five or ten cast on stitches or so. Um, because constantly changing the colors will twist the yarn. And if you alternate colors, you won't get this nice, like, barbell pole effect on the end. And that is the two color twisted German cast on. Thanks for watching.